and what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you like some um, styles and names and different um, things to look out for when you go sourcing. Um, and this is what I picked up and why. So we have some super beautiful things here. Bingo. <laughs> you guys were probably, you probably saw these as I was turning them, but these are um, the lamp work or maybe wedding cake art glass. And then right there on the hook, it says 925. See what I'm talking about? This is a Monet, I think it's a book piece. I've sold one very similar. I think it's 1940s. Definitely interesting with that um, tassel thing going on. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel, AKA Lilyworks, and I am a full-time stay-at-home mom, part-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, Etsy, and whatnot. Today, we are going to be picking up a high bid jewelry auction. It is almost 30 pounds of jewelry. So we're gonna go get that and I will show you some pieces later. And we're also with my mom and Annalise and we are going to an antique store that I love. I bought a lot of higher end pieces here um, for resale, sale. And uh, let's go get the auction items and go antique shopping. I am so excited. So here we are. We are at this like jewelry auction house. I just picked it up. We are bringing it out to the car. I believe it's like almost 30 pounds worth of jewelry. Looks like we have a bajillion brooches. I am so excited to go through this with you guys. Oh, that is so fun. It's matte. And then we have like multiple layers. I see cinnabar right there. Ooh, cinnabar right here. This big giant bangle. Looks like maybe sterling silver. We have our Avon pieces. And we have, oh my gosh, all of these vintage pieces. I see a fancy box clasp. Love seeing fancy box clasp. Oh, look at how pretty. Oh, this prong set. Piece. I kind of want to pull this one out right now. Pull you out. Love it. Kind of like mid-century modern. So pretty. Okay, so I'm excited to share this with you guys later and uh, do a little unboxing or a haul video with you guys. This place is called Pilgrim. Pilgrim Antique Mall, and I think we're in Germantown, Wisconsin. I want to show you guys. I am wearing this. I think this is like apple juice bakelite. I have to test it, but look at how neat this is. It's a carved um, peacock. And then I'm wearing my book chain necklace. So here we go. Fourteen pair of earrings for nine fifty. I'm gonna look at these. Annalise got the earrings in her basket. Yep. Got some earrings from this section before. I get quite lucky here, don't I? So I am looking it in the case. I looked at all of the jewelry that is outside of the case. I found these, these are sterling, and they kind of have a modernist, I don't know, kind of like an art deco look actually, with these lines. They are sterling and they're for $4. This one says signed Warner. They're like rhinestone clip-ons. And I like that they um, have the price right there, eight, and then signed Warner, so that I'm able to look it up right away because they do have to um, get a key to get some things out. Um, I see some crystals right there. I love them. They're $9 though. 
we have this really pretty aurora borealis that's a what does it say rosary sterling crucifix 20 bucks a lot of enamel flowers I think that's 1950s um, it says Leah Sophia rhinestone pin here's the black rhinestone interesting right back there I see it says Weiss a Weiss necklace um, and it says $75. Now Weiss is definitely a brand to look out for. $75 is a bit high for resale. Um, if it was half that, I should say, then it would be better. Then there's some Eisenberg earrings, which are awesome. Also another brand to look out for. But again, those are $45, so those are a pass. All right, I'm looking at this case now. This one looks like, I don't know. Siamese or something looks like sterling silver. I can't see the price. This is a Monet. I think it's a book piece. I've sold one very similar. I think it's 1940s. Definitely interesting with that um, tassel thing going on. It does say $22, which is high, but that is a piece that would do well for resale. I have some rings. And earrings back there looks like a lot of sterling silver this one was mama's favorite booth this is my helper yeah she's being careful she gets a sucker for when she's all done so we have some um, case pieces that are actually um, really really uh, um, priced well so anyways I see this big giant blue stone right there that looks amazing mm -hmm. um, I am very tempted to buy some of these things for myself obviously this is like totally my thing right here um, so I'm gonna look into those but then I'm gonna go over here and I found some sterling earrings clip-on earrings um, so I'm gonna take a, a better look this time at some of these for resale like these are some really cute sweet cameo earrings in with like bows they are just like studs so I'm gonna see if any of these are marked check the hooks check to see if they say 925 on them and uh, ooh, look at these these like moon glow lovely these might be sterling see how it's flat like that the hook is flat we're gonna see if they are marked um let's see they might be might be sterling I'm gonna take a better look at that what is this wood these are funky oh <gasps> look at these are super neat oh my gosh I'm I think someone would love these are they marked but they're like kind of atomic I think we need these we need to get those for resale for sure these feel like cut crystal or smoky topaz those are pretty we have these dangles probably not sterling or anything pretty though <gasps> these are pretty with that rose quartz in there yeah definitely want to spend some time with these they are gorgeous earrings we have some bear earrings with some faux turquoise. Oh, are these clip-ons? <gasps> That's fun. Fun, fun, fun. We have some glass. Ooh, art glass where it has little like trees on the inside. Then this one. These. Um, you know, you don't want to rub <laughs> pearls against your teeth at the antique store to check to see if they are real or not. But you can usually tell. You want to see if there's any like flaking of like a paint and these look a little bit too shiny um, and too even so I'm thinking that those are not genuine pearls even though the hook does look sterling these are four dollars and really pretty crystals though so this has a flat hook again let's see Nothing on that side, nothing on that side. 
Hmm. That one might be sterling as well, though. Ooh, one fell. Bingo. <laughs> you guys were probably you probably saw these as I was turning them, but these are um, the lamp work or maybe wedding cake art glass, and then right there on the hook it says nine two five. See what I'm talking about? Seven dollars. We are going to get these beautiful statement. Possibly Italian made, not sure, but these are gorgeous. Definitely getting those. All right, I think I'm gonna go through these again uh, just to make sure. Ooh, pretty. Okay, I'm gonna look at these next. These again, these look like smoky topaz. Let's see. Yeah, don't see anything else on there. These are pretty. Wow. And there's some funky fish. Oh, these are marked. What are they marked? Okay, finally figured these out. These are Norma Jean fish earrings. And looking them up, I think I can list them for about 35. So I'm going to get those. We have some amber earrings. Uh, I like the like Art Deco style to them. Those are fantastic. I wanted to show you guys these. So these feel like high quality articulated vintage jewelry and they're really long. So I was like, okay, are they marked? So you want to take off that stud and when you look, don't really see anything, but take a look around that post and you might see some letters. Monet does this thing where it circles the Monet around the post. So these are some really nice Monet earrings. These are for four dollars. That's gonna be a yes. Okay, <clears throat> on to some more. These look like citrine and smoky topaz. And they do have that flat hook. I don't see a mark, but I'm gonna take a chance. These definitely look like smoky topaz and citrine. <laughs> I've sold these earrings before in a like reddish purple color. These I believe are Liz Claiborne. Let's take a peek. All right, yeah, do you see right there the LC? That's Liz Claiborne. I actually think I might have sold them for like 30 bucks. I'm gonna look these up. It's so pretty chandelier. They kind of remind me of like 1928 jewelry. This is a really pretty amber color. We'll take a peek at those. Some Liz Claiborne jewelry can do pretty well. These are like faux coral, folk turquoise, just really lightweight. Oh, these are pretty. I like those. They're like layered with these different. Oh, I just like that. That looks really neat. Ooh, these do look like sterling with real coral, maybe? Um, let's see. No, it's a little, it doesn't feel like sterling, but they have a really neat native look to them. Ooh, here's some more long long ones. I'll take a peek at those to see if it's Monet again, possibly. Put those down here. Ooh, look at these. Oh, these have like really heavy tubes with little rhinestones at the bottom. These are clip-ons. New old stock, possibly. So these are eight. I'll take a peek at these, see what they are. There's some crystal. These are some enamel, more enamel, more crystal like lever backs. These almost look like sterling again. These might be marked on the side if they are. Uh, not marked. Okay, leave those. I wouldn't be surprised if they were though. <gasps> Are these little agate chunks? Oh, these look sterling. These are four. Oh, dropping again. But let's see. These definitely look like sterling and, I'm sorry, did I say agate? I meant um, amethyst. Yeah, these definitely look like that. I'm gonna look into these as well. Wild bird. This kind of looks like Chico's. These are marked on the back. What are they? Ancline, AK. Vintage Ancline. Three dollars. 
And then we have some multi-tone chain. Ooh, look at these. These are fantastic. I'm gonna look at these. Yeah, these are fantastic. Did they have something on the bottom? I'm not sure. I'm gonna look into that one. Okay. My mom found a belt buckle. It's a tooled deer, leather deer. I like selling belt buckles. It is $4. I think we can get like 20, 20 for this. So we'll grab that. That one's really neat. Still here. I put back the Liz Claiborne and the long ones here. They're not marked. I'm going to move, move on over. Oh, so many pretty things. Oh, look at all these. These all look like Renoir, Matisse copper jewelry. We have some of these cufflinks. Oh my gosh. So these were originally $38.50 and now they're $20 for this set. So we're looking at more earrings up here, but I definitely, oh, oh this is gorgeous. Look at this shape. So I've been collecting, oh stop it. What are these? I need these. $8 a pair. You guys, what are these? These are so Stunning. Has like a really nice dome with like cuts in it. I don't even know what they are, but they're gorgeous. Okay. We're gonna need that for sure. Emmons for 10. It says Cremens, but I don't see anything on there. <laughs> There's nothing on that thing. Oh, look at this. These little hearts. How much are those? Looks like a set. $30 for the set, but it looks like it's set in sterling silver. And oh, these are $8 a pair too. Oh my gosh, and look at these. <gasps> so many pretty things. Anyways, <laughs> squirrel. I have been collecting, like just starting a collection of jewelry that like has Nevette stones in it. Really, really love that. All right, let's look at this. Oh, this is feminine and beautiful. This was probably a high-end piece. It's not marked, but it is stunning. I'm gonna see if Google Lens will help me with that one. That one's really pretty and made really well. Don't you guys love it? I love the uh, matte gold with that light pink love. Okay, back, back to the jewelry. Um, swirled art glass with crystals. Oh, it looks like a little rose in there. Stunning. We have these for seven. Pretty. Ooh, are these clips? Seven dollars for the pair. Yeah, I'll take a peek at that to see if that's anything. These little guys. What are these guys called? I don't remember. Something. More crystals. We have the turquoise chip and the coral chip. Hi. These are, these are seven. Seven each? Mm -hmm. Well, I'll take a peek. So, this one has no markings, so not that one. This one's really pretty, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I, this is like a matte copper. So pretty. Ooh, I almost dropped it. Right, this one also doesn't have a marking on it, but these are gorgeous. I'm not going to grab those, just because I don't know enough about it. Oh my god gosh look at these <gasps> what are these what are these these are pretty what do they say so the backings say something jcm i'm wondering if that's like a qvc thing i don't know but i'm gonna look at these as well we have these tiger's eye little religious Saints on the dangles. Ooh, what are these? These are some sodalite dangles. Pretty. I'm gonna look at those as well. Some little kitties. Are these clip-ons? Yep, they are. These are some enameled flowers. Eh, I'll think about those. Maybe not. 
but some people like collecting their enameled metal flowers. Ooh, these are sterling. I think. What are these? These are an orange color. I don't know. Something. I'll, I'll think about those. Some big hearts. We have rose quartz and these do say something on the side. Let's see if I can zoom in here for you guys. All right, it says something, something there. Maybe it says gold filled, I'll check. Um, you guys, oh, look at how beautiful that is. That is stunning. And then are these like carved um, malachite or something? But these are definitely something. Looks like an opal, but probably not something like dragon's breath labradorite something something where it has that glow in there only four dollars yes making a pile <sighs> wow we're getting some fun fun things i am just maybe i should just keep going through this <laughs> this look like coral for five dollars branch coral these are lovely i think that these are gold filled i'm not sure if it's worth getting just because they're just rose quartz chunks so I'm going to leave those, but yeah, these are, these are pretty awesome. Don't want to, oh, there's just one single here. I wonder where the other went. Oh, it's just a pin. That's why. Okay. <gasps> these are fun. Look at that. Those are fun. Fun, fun, fun. Uh, look at these. I think these are called Millie Fiori where it has the little flower glass and then these little crystals. I will look into those. I'm like taking them all. <laughs> okay, so these are the ones I'm looking into. These are the ones I'm gonna get. Well, looking into this one still. All right. This fun necklace, it's $7. It's like hammered spoons. It looks almost like a Danish design at first. I was like, oh, look at those. Oh my gosh, look at this. I believe that is wedding cake glass necklace. Stunning. Oh my word. Look at how stinking adorable this art glass pendant is. These are $8. Let's see what else they have. There's a fish. There's a heart with like a twist. And then another heart. Okay. <laughs> Annalise, come look at how cute this is. So do you guys see that big Weiss bracelet right there? It is 37, yes, we're gonna grab that. There's some really pretty stuff. She's coming to open it for me, yay. So I found some Renoir Matisse copper earring and some Austrian crystal, which is super lovely. And I see some very valuable people right there as well on the second level. And I think we're almost done shopping, but you guys, I got so many things from behind the case. I got like three different Weiss things and I am so excited to show you guys. Looks like we have Easter galore here. Oh my gosh, happy birthday four-year-old. If that said happy birthday five-year-old, I would die because Annalise is having a bunny birthday in a couple weeks and she's turning five. <laughs> I would just die. <gasps> Here's a son. Is this Swarovski? I have a son that is Swarovski. Let's see. Let us, whoop, dropping the earrings. This one says 15. Doesn't this look Swarovski though? Hmm, I'm looking for a swan. There's some pretty neat ones in here. Look at that one. 70s. A little tarnished. Here's the owl with wiggly. This is marked Allen. A-L-A-N. Another little ceramic owl. This one's nice. With the glass beads. And this one has a lot of fun things happening here. Huh, interesting. How much is this? 13. That one is definitely 
fun, really cute purses. And what is this guy? A little lion. Not marked. I feel like this one <laughs> should be Swarovski with little Swarovski eyes. Huh. I'm going to Google Lens him. Okay, we are back home. Do you see all the loveliness that we have in front of us? Okay, I grabbed a drink. I The kids are in their beds. And what we are going to do is I'm gonna show you these pieces. I paid up for some of them. Some of them are for me. Some of them are just too good to leave there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you like some um, styles and names and different um, things to look out for when you go sourcing. Um, and this is what I picked up and why. So we have some super beautiful things here. I paid three, three something, I can't remember. I'll put it up on the screen. I think like 350-ish for everything here, but I'm hoping to make it all back with like four of these pieces. Um, because some of them are fantastic. I am so excited. So I'm going to be researching along with you guys because I didn't um, do like thorough research in the store. And then also I have my testing. So I'm going to get my testing stone. My testing acid I just purchased. Hasn't been open yet. I have my Presidium gem tester here. Oh, I should probably link it. And then I'm going to use my Google Lens here so um yeah let's let's just get started let's get into it okay I'm just gonna show you these these have to be something I wanted to show you guys up close all the beautiful detail you guys see see that uh, if these do not sell for like 30 bucks if these are not some kind of important Chico's piece or something that I'm going to keep them because these are so well made. Okay, so it has this like mini chain that puts all these little um, peachy dangles and then it, it loops all the way around. And I really love this really big teardrop look for my face. So I'm going to move this out of the way. Let's move some of these. I know, they're so beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna grab my phone, use my Google Lens real quick on this nicer background. It was a little bit hard to do in the store. And so it'll give me a little bit more clear of a shot. Okay, get all of it in there. And nothing is popping up right away. Sometimes, um, things do pop up like unmarked J. Crew or Chico's. It's not coming up, so I might just keep these. I love them. They're such a nice, heavy quality. I just love. Love, love. Okay. All right, here's another one that I think I'm keeping, you guys. Okay, so what I've been doing is I've been like doing this thing where I um, want to keep some things, so I priced them really high. Like, for instance, this, I don't know if you guys can see. Oh, this book chain necklace that I have on right here. It's like an Egyptian revival book chain bib necklace that is just crazy. I don't know. And then I have this like apple juice bakelite thing on as well. 
um, and I've been pricing them high so that uh, they might not sell. But that's okay because I want to keep them and wear them and uh, have them in my collection because the value is only going up. That's the thing about like vintage jewelry is like the val value is just going up on most of the pieces. Okay, so these are like articulated sterling silver abalone shell. They are marked on the back. Okay, cool. Cool, cool. Okay, so that's what Google Lens does for me. It, it It is stamped right on the back. And it says Mexico 925 TD40. Okay, so here on my um, Google Lens, it's showing up TD40 925. These articulated abalone earrings right there. Scrolling down, someone has them for sale for $69. And I paid $18. So, I mean, not too shabby. Here's some more articulated. These say alpaca silver, which they are not. They're actually sterling silver. These don't have a price. Okay, so uh, I don't think I did too bad if I do end up selling these. You know, I could sell them for like 60 bucks. Um, based off of what I just saw. Obviously, if you're really considering paying up um, and they're not for you and you don't have a lot of money to spend, make sure you're checking sold comps on whatever platform you are planning to sell it on. That would be more helpful. Okay, what should we show next? Should we do this one? Okay, look at this. This is a Weiss brooch. It is a shield brooch with these lovely, lovely green rhinestones. At first I was like, I don't even know what that is. Um, it is marked Weiss on the back. It has like a sword through it. So this one I did pay 20 bucks for. Definitely know I can make my money on that. This is going to bring some good traction to the store. I'm just going to see if there's anything else out there like it. Okay. So it looks like what's popping up right away is Weiss Shield Sword Crest Rhinestone. Okay, see right there it says $99 on eBay. So that is my competition right there. So $20, bucks, $99, um, not too shabby. And then what I can do is if I am not sure, um, I can just look at Weiss Shield brooch um weiss shield brooch basically weiss shield let's see there's one that's blue for $94.99 there's this one that is like a gold tone mine is more green that's 85 and then uh, and then again the $99 one this one there's no green <clears throat> so that's what I'm showing here and then what I can do is I can look at sold comps, but this is so like special, I guess. There's it's not like Avon or Clark shoes where there's a lot listed on the market. So when I know that it's something that there's not a lot listed, I kind of don't really even care that much about sold comps because I'm looking at what the competition is. Okay, so someone sold this one it's not the same but it's for $24.99 I don't know what they were thinking honey that is that is a sad day <laughs> $24.99 for that gorgeous one this one is also not the same $77 and then $69 and none of them are the same as this I have the kind of business model where I can um, hold on to things for a while especially things like this uh, if it will make me a good profit. So that one I am really happy with. Um, what should we look at? Oh, 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 look at this. This one is gorgeous. It is all prong set rhinestones and it has a Rivoli blue stone. Do you see how it's pointed right there? It is so fiery and beautiful. It is foil backed, I believe really nicely made. I paid $12 for this, but it is stunning. I don't see these colors too often. I think this is like 1950s, 60s-ish. Lovely, high quality. You want to look for high quality brooches. Okay, I'm going to see what I can find first with my Google Lens. Again, 
I, I don't think anything really is going to pop up, honestly. This looks pretty unique. All right, there's a square glass square brooch for 58. Um, yeah, nothing, nothing really. So in this case, I think I'm going to make my own price and I'll probably price it like $49.99. Honestly, it's high quality. It's a Rivoli. It's patriotic. There are just so many good things going for this prong set. You can even put that in the title. Love that. Love, love, love. Triple love. <laughs> All the love. Okay, we already saw these, these fish. And I did look these up in the store. I think I can get around 35 and I paid five, no, I paid $7 for those. Okay, this glorious, glorious, glorious thing. Look at this, look. This is going to be a catch and potentially release if uh, the high enough price comes in. But I love, love, love wearing long pendants and this one is just so opulent. This opulent matte gold cross, it is a Trifari and I paid $18, but this might be a book piece. I'm gonna have to look into this. So let me take a picture. I think this is 80s, just based off of what the gold looks like. All right. So we're going to, oh, 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 whoa, okay. First one that pops up, you guys. Can you guys see that? First one that pops up, $150. Trifari, vintage, boom. Okay, so 150 ha, 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 you guys. Okay, there's one that's like $299. Which is, a, which is the same pendant but a different chain. And then you guys, this one is $445, but it comes with the earrings. So this is what I'm talking about. Keep your eyes peeled for some good deals. There are deals out there to be had at antique stores. I am just, wow, okay, yay, yay, yay. All right, let's see, what else can we find? Okay, let me show you this Weiss. Let's just go through all the Weiss and the Kenneth J. Lane that I found. All right, this is, I'm not sure if I'm gonna find this exact piece, but um, this is a black Weiss brooch with these really lovely two little dangles. It is marked Weiss on the back. And these stones down at the bottom are like more sparkly. So I'm thinking those are maybe like a smoky topazy crystal and these are more of just a black glass maybe jet or something but I just loved that style and I do like selling Weiss obviously so I got that one and then dun, 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 this icy <laughs> Weiss in the box crystally blingy rhinestone -y bracelet so lovely and what I can do is I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can say seven row um, clear rhinestone Weiss bracelet in box. And it does have a safety chain. It is just glorious. So feast your eyes. And so well made. Look at that back. So smooth. Prong set. Lovely. Okay. What else? What else do we want to look at together? You guys saw the Monet. Lovely. I kind of want to look these up, but yeah, we'll see. <clears throat> oh, 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 I want to show you guys these. These I got for $4. Look at these clip-ons. They're little leaves, leaves and they are coral. Little coral clip-on dangly leaf earrings. Love those. All right. I have these that I think I'm going to be keeping for a little bit and these. Okay. So I paid up for these, but look at, they look like maybe Southwestern or something. These look like amethyst drops and these, I'm not even sure, moonstone or something. They're both set in sterling. The, these one I paid $10 and these $14. I just had to have them. You guys, if you know what it is, let me know. But it has that labradorite opalescence in it, which it could be, but it also has like a smoky, I don't know, a cloudy white blobby thing in there as well. And just, 
just really weird and interesting. Not marked, but all right. So I have my tester here so we can test the, what I think is amethyst. Pretty sure, pretty sure guys. It's purple, set in sterling and okay, it's slipping. Yeah, it's in the amethyst, which is right down here at the bottom is amethyst. So yes, these are amethyst set in sterling. I can just literally Google lens these because what happens if you type in amethyst drop, amethyst sterling silver dropped earrings into um, eBay, you'll get so many results. And a lot of it is just stuff from China that is probably just sterling silver plated. And so it's marked for $14.99 with free shipping, not artisan, not anything special. And then you get discouraged and then you like undercut what you should have been pricing it at. So I am looking right now for something similar. Okay, similar right here, <laughs> $62. We have something for 50. We have, well, that's 99, but those are, these are prettier. This one's 38. So even if I sold these for 30, you know, making making some money on these if I bought them for 10, but I am gonna be wearing these as well. So that's something to think about. And then these, I am quickly seeing what these are. Okay, so it does say Labradorite, but I don't know, is it? Because it doesn't look like a lot of the Labradorite that I see. Um, yeah, so in def oh, there's some mo rainbow moonstone, maybe? Um, I'm gonna have to look more into that. That one's interesting. Okay. Oh, these. I saw these in the cabinet. These are only, what are they? Eight dollars. And I was like, I don't even know what they are. But they are marked Emmons, E-M-M-O-N-S on the back. Just look at these. If they are something that looked crazy to you and special, then they probably look that way to other people. So I'm going to Google lens these and boom, we have some that are popping up for $49 right away. Emmons, we have one that has the clip-ons with the brooch for 80. These are listed for 49 on Etsy. Um, we have, let's see, anything else? No, but I think for $8, I think this is a pretty good deal. Okay, you guys want to see this master? Oh, look at this. Okay, Annalise actually picked this out. Okay, you guys. This is a, it says Kenneth Lane, Kenneth J. Lane says Kenneth Lane right there and this when you pick it up it feels heavy it feels smooth it feels like high quality it does not feel like you would buy it at Claire's and so when I was in the store and I was like typing in um Kenneth J Lane like large enamel flower ring there were um some listings that said Kenneth J Lane style like, like this, I guess this ring is popular enough that other makers made rings like it. So that was a good sign to me. Oh, I paid $26 for this. But you guys, I looked on eBay and some of them are like priced over $100. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Paying up for some things <laughs> to make, to make more than $15 on a piece, right? Um, but it is so gorgeous. Whoever gets this is going to love it. It's giving me Chanel vibes. Love, 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 love. Doesn't fit me. It's probably, uh, probably a six or a seven. It has like that little, um, horse shape adjuster so it can fit maybe a half a size up and down, but gorgeous. Okay. So these, you guys, I paid $4. I, okay, let's test it, shall we? I'm wondering if these are sterling, since it's here. Okay, 
So, um, I'm thinking this is malachite, and then now that I'm like looking at this, it might be that moonstone, that rainbow moonstone that we were thinking the other thing was, because it looks like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do a good scratch on my stone. This is a new bottle, so I'm going to have to open the new seal. Okay, again, I'm using the 18 karat gold on um, sterling silver because it shows up like a bright blue. Okay, so it's not, it's not showing up sterling. Eh, kind of, maybe I just need to scratch it harder. Let's try. Let's try one more time. Unless it's gold, that would be something. <laughs> but this is like too pretty with the two stones. All right, nope, it's not showing up. And I'm gonna wipe that off later. Okay, leave it over there. Nobody touches it. I'm gonna see if Google Lens helps me at all with these. Otherwise, I can just um, research it on my phone. Okay, so does not look like that's helping a whole lot. Okay, so let's do malachite, moonstone, earrings. Okay, so it does look like malachite and moonstone are, um, they're, they are a good combination. This person put that it was love. Does that mean love? Malachite and rainbow moonstone? But it is a combination, so that must be what that is. I love that. There's nothing that I'm seeing with like a carved flower ball bead at the bottom. But, yes, genuine stones, and this is what I'm talking about, some of the things like $9.99 to $12.50, probably, oh, it's coming from India, but yeah, I don't, I don't trust those, those are like probably not good quality, those are, I'm just, I'm hesitant. Honestly, when I buy jewelry for myself, I will put the condition as used, just because I don't trust like new People that are just selling things new with free shipping. Am I crazy? Okay, so there's nothing really that's sold except for one pair um, that's sold for $30. Okay, I, I'm going to have to research that more, but for $4, definitely making some money on these beautiful, beautiful earrings. Okay, ooh, look at these. These are marked Renoir on the back. A lot of copper modernist MCM um, vintage jewelry is by Renoir Matisse. This one is clearly marked on the back. These are some clip-ons. Some of these earrings do have verdigris on them, which is totally fine. You can clean it with ketchup because the acid will take away that green verdigris. Okay, so right away someone is selling these for 40 and someone is selling them for 55 on Ruby Lane and someone is also selling some for nine dollars stop it who is doing that okay they're screw back so some people don't like screw back no they're clip on but they're in really rough shape really rough so they put screw back they're not screw back okay person Mm, we're not going to say who you are. <laughs> Stop underpricing the market for some gorgeous, gorgeous MCM copper earrings. Don't do that, you guys. All right, let me show you these. These totally remind me of Juliana. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay, but I'm going to keep these, got these for five. Because I am, like I said in the store, I am collecting the little navette stone jewelry which is like these long skinny stones that look 
like really flattened out skinny footballs. So these, I don't think I would consider these Nevette um, shape. They have to be like that really long pointy shape here. And Juliana uses that a lot. And now I think I have like four pieces in my collection. So I don't know. I'm just really drawn to that like that look. And it might be because I'm like reading Juliana books, but I'm all about it right now. Okay. <gasps> Ooh, you guys, Whiting and Davis. This is another bolo. Look for the Whiting and Davis chain per um the metal chain purses. As if you know, you know. Um, and then these are some gorgeous clip-on earrings with like a sphere. Oh my gosh. These look like blue sapphires. They're probably not. They're probably just glass. Let's see. When it's glass, the needle will jump a little bit. Yeah. It will jump a little bit for me. It doesn't have to necessarily like go all the way to the middle of glass. But just the fact that it's like moving a little bit, like it's waking up, it's like, okay, this is glass. If it's plastic on your Presidium Gem Tester, it will do nothing. All right, so I paid eight for those, which is probably a little high, but Whiting Davis, I couldn't leave it. I couldn't leave those there. We have, what else? Shh, give me, give me a shout out. What do you want to see next? We can test these. Okay, and we're back, you guys. Um, my battery died, so we will see how this works. Okay, so we're looking at these like amethyst chip, um, um, earrings, and yeah, they are going to, they're definitely in amethyst, definitely. So what I did while I was waiting is I did the scratch test. For all the earrings I thought might possibly be sterling and one that was marked sterling. So we are going to see. Um, I have them lined up each with their own scratch line. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six um, here. So we'll see which ones might test as sterling. Hopefully this acid is working you guys okay um, 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 um. okay so the only one I don't know this new acid <laughs> the only one that's coming up bright blue are these and these are marked sterling like they kind of have that art deco look to them so I'm gonna try a couple of these one more time um, just that I think like honestly some of them should be no a few of them should be <laughs> all right let's try these again sometimes you have to scratch a little bit harder and leave a little bit better of a scratch so we have those we have this one this one should be I feel like it really really should be it has too many beautiful elements on it so let's see get rid of that and then get rid of that okay let's try one more time we have that one we have that one and we have that one Okay, nothing is popping up as sterling. Whatever. Whatever, you guys. <laughs> Still beautiful. Um, and I'm going to show them to you. Get that the garbage. Okay. These, I was thinking, might be like smoky topaz. So I'm going to look on my presidium. These are slippery, so they're a little bit harder. So they are all the way. They're to the jadeite and spinel, um, which is right before the topaz. So I'm thinking, I don't think this is jadeite and spinel. 
Um, so I think it's just having a harder time because it's slippy, slippery. So I do think that these are smoky topaz earrings. And oh, I want to see what the yellow was. The yellow is just glass. So it's like a bright yellow. Okay, so we have all these. And let's just admire these beauties. Oh my gosh, you guys. These are insane. Look at these. Look at how insane this lamp work is on the beads. So beautiful. Okay. What are these? These are marked Judy Lee. I got these for four. These are just some clip-ons. Lovely. We have, oh, these massive ones. I don't know if these are Lucite. I think that they are. Oh, what did I pay for them? They are massive. Four dollars. Look at these earrings. Lucite is a, an, uh, a plastic that is like see-through. You can have like swirling and things like that in it. Got these Aust Austrian crystals. Clip-on earrings, lovely. Um, we looked at those. These are unmarked, but they are totally giving me Weiss vibes. They totally look like they match that brooch right there. And so a lot of times in like a perer, which is a set of jewelry, oh, I think it's like a set of three, and a demi perer is a set of two, um, just one piece might be signed and then the other pieces, like the earrings, might be unsigned. So I'm going to have to dig a little bit into this. These were, these came from a different vendor than the brooch, so it's not like they were sold together, but these totally are giving me Weiss vibes all day. These are marked CZ. Look them up. They're like bridal earrings and they're like selling for like $90 or something on, um, on a website. So I picked these up for eight. We have these lovely enamel sweet clip-ons, little clippies. These are just some really beautiful artisan brutalist earrings with a genuine like agate stone. Lovely. We have these orange cluster clippies with glass and AB prong set rhinestones. Lovely. We have these amber art deco looking earrings. These are super interesting. I wanted to see if I can figure out anything on these. They have like a textured matte silver with rhinest blue rhinestones going upward. And then these are super atomic and fun stars. They are like maybe Christmas themed, but I love that three dimensional look, the atomic look. You guys saw the belt buckle in the store. And let's go see if we can find any um, earrings in this bag that I paid $9.50 for. Oh, I'm seeing some, what are these, magnet? Are these magnet um, rhinestones? What is going on here? Do they go into something? What is happening? I have all... All these different, do they go in here? <gasps> what are they? Are these magnets that go in these earrings? You guys, is this like a change out? What are they? Okay, they're not marked, are they? You guys, that, do you guys see what I'm seeing? That is so much fun. Okay, so we have like these swirls, and then we have all these little cabochons with magnets on them. Fun! We have, like, we have a bajillion. That is so fun! That is reminding me of um, different brooches that you can change out the color of like, like a bee belly or something like that to match. Okay, these are broken, which I totally want to fix because they're the Thermoset Moon Glow. Love that. Where it's a plastic moon glow, so it's like a thermoset. To find the piece that this goes to. Okay. So I'm going to pull out the gold because I think that's the most promising 
that I can find. Okay, so we have these. These are marked. These are marked Trifari. Yay, we have some Trifaris. And they're lovely, black enamel and gold. So chic. Okay, let's get these. One and two. These are enamel. They are clip-on enamel. These are a little bit nicer than other enamel earrings I see. These are not marked, but I will sell those. Those are pretty. They're like a dark green and red. We have these like slug, <laughs> slug hoops. I don't know, textured. They are marked Monet on the back. Love it. Love, love, love. So chic. Okay, what are these? These are, ooh, these are Crown Trifari textured spiraling hoops. Crown Trifari, yay, love that. Okay, I just sold some similar to these this weekend. These are some like cha-cha, dangly, fun bead cluster black, um, black bead earrings. And then, are these anything? Okay, so here's some more gold tone and they are like a cream enamel dangle and they are marked napier little napier teardrop clip-ons little clippies okay I am not seeing the part that goes with this that is like so sad okay we have these are plastic plastic Plastic, 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 plastic. And so I might be selling those that I showed you and I might just put these in craft. But that is great. Great, great, great. So one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six that I'm selling for sure. Plus this hot mess thing that's not signed, which I'm probably going to be selling super fun like you can even put faux pearls in there wow so fun all right that is um my haul hopefully this um taught you guys a little bit about looking for jewelry searching for jewelry finding deals out there if you feel uncomfortable paying up definitely you know don't do that until you feel really comfortable in your business and you have enough inventory to keep that like train rolling I should say because some things could be sitting for a while for instance um let's see my camera died again so we're just gonna wrap up this video I was saying like this if I price this at 149 like the other um seller I might be sitting on this for a while so I'm not gonna see my return on investment on something like this for a while um, unless I put it on auction and start it at like a hundred maybe then I might start seeing some sales quicker but um, yeah I've noticed that the things that sell the quickest is either things I put on auction that I'm okay with getting an auction price for or just bread and butter things um, honestly so um, yeah, I hope this helped you guys out. If you like this video, make sure to give this one a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribed. And as always, make sure you're out there thrifting, antiquing, yard sale shopping, and estate, estate sale shopping, auction house <laughs> bidding so that you guys can live generously too. Bye guys.